Hello and welcome to our next video. In this lesson, we're going to do our first putting it all together lecture. So this will take the concepts we've learned from the week in a regular putting it all together and maybe add just a couple little small concepts, but essentially wrap up the things we've learned. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get simpleoutput.java and create yourself a project called Simple Output, which has that file as its main code file. So with simple output, what we start with is I'm going to show you, of course, the output that we've seen for print line. So here we have system.out.println, and it's going to print a line. And then I wanted to show, of course, that you can split a line by using the plus symbol to continue. So let's go ahead and run that. And here we see print line. We're moving really fast now, or we're really moving fast now. And what you can see is that even though that this split a line, it did not split a line in our actual printout, which is important to note. So if you want to split the line, we need to do something different. Well, you could create two separate print line statements and it would be on different lines, or you can use a replacement. And one of the replacements we can use for a new line is gonna be slash n. That will give us a new line anywhere in our output. We can also use slash t for a tab. Now we're also gonna look at another type in just a moment, the printf statement, and there we're gonna use percent %s if we want to replace in a string. So we'll get to that in just a moment, but slash t is a tab, slash n is a new line. So here what I'm gonna do is create a line that says, welcome to Sudoku, slash n, please enter your name, colon, slash t, Brian, slash n, quote. So you can see this is all one statement in my code here. And again, I could easily separate this by hitting quote, enter, tab, tab, plus, space, and then quote, and that will still be one statement in our Java compiler, but it will still print out exactly the same way. And I encourage you to experiment with that as you go. But let's go ahead and run this now, one single print line statement with the slash n slash t slash n inside of our statement and watch what happens. We're really moving fast now. Welcome to Sudoku, please enter your name, Brian. So you can see there was a tab space there. We got a new line before please, just like we expected. So that's how we can use slash n and slash t in our printout to do a few more formatting things. Now this is really important if one of your homework assignments, for instance, or one of your first programs needs to print out in an exact formatted way, you could start doing this. The next thing I wanna show you, however, is specifically designed for formatting. It's called the printf statement. So far we've only worked with print line, but here we're gonna show printf. Now we're gonna see print line and printf a lot throughout the rest of the course. So don't get too freaked out if you don't quite understand it just yet. We'll have some opportunities to work with it in the future. But first of all, let me just turn on the system.out.println for printf. And here I'm going to show you our first printf statement. Hello, percent s, slash n, comma, and then my string that I want to, to replace this percent s. So here I have hello, Brian, with a new line. And just to show that that's going to work, Let's go ahead and have this, this next final line print out after it. So here I'm going to run this. And you can see printf, hello, Brian, new line with this. So you can see that it did replace the percent s with the string that I had behind it. So let's do something a little more advanced. Let's turn the comments off here. And now let's run it again. So this time we have percent s slash n, percent s slash t, percent s slash n. Holy crap, is that confusing or what? It doesn't even make sense. Well, this is my first string. Welcome to the Sudoku program. Then it's gonna give me a new line. Then it's gonna be my second string. Please enter your name with a colon, and then a tab character. And then my third string, which is percent s again. That's gonna be my name, Brian and then slash n to end the statement. So if you piece through this, you can see this is just an expression, and that expression is going to be able to be easily interchangeable with strings that we have in these different places. In fact, if we wanted to change it, we could take one out, and then we could add another one, and it would just move Brian into that second string position. And again, I encourage you to do that on your own to get used to seeing how that would work. Let's go ahead and run this. You can see, hello. Uh, welcome to the Sudoku program. Please enter your name, Brian. So it printed out exactly like we expected it to, and it's just using a little different format. But here, this statement will end up printing out the same as this statement did, just replacing those strings with percent %s. 
So the important thing to remember, if you're working with printf, make sure that you contain that slash n if you want multiple lines. Because if I do two printfs in a row, what's going to happen? Oops, I didn't get my new line. So if I wanted a new line, I need to make sure that I either had it here or I could have put it here before my line started, whatever makes the most sense for my program. Finally, I want to take a quick look at just a regular old print statement. So this is just a basic print and it's going to print whatever you give it just on a single print statement. And so what you can see here is again, if you want to print a new line, you need to use the slash n and you can send a number if you wanted to. And essentially that's going to wrap up our look there at the print statement. And you can play around with that as you want to. And you see here, there's no slash n. And so if you try to do slash n here, you're going to have a problem because 32 is not a string, it's an integer. So I cannot use slash n in combination with an integer. Now, technically I can do this, but this is not exactly the best code. I'll show it to you because you can do it, but don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do, right? Remember how I told you early on that some things are the most obvious solution, but maybe not the best way to do it. That's one of them that works, but isn't necessarily the best way to do it. But that wraps up our putting it all together lecture where we've covered printing out to the screen. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next time.